Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. like me you believe that a wealth transfer is coming and in my case i've been aware of this for years and we would always say like we need to get ready for the wealth transfer but i'm not sure that people really understood what that meant and god has really been showing me that a lack of focus uh can potentially be harmful a lack of focus was actually what kept many israelites out of the promised land because they were focused on all the distractions that were going on but they weren't focused on what god had to say the two people that were focused on what God had to say were Joshua and Caleb. And we see how that turned out because Joshua and Caleb were two of the only ones of that generation who ended up going into the promised land. And so there's a lot of people that are very focused on surviving, just getting through this, right? The, the bank collapses. It's just everybody's in a panic. And it's like, stop and think about the perception of this for just a minute. When all the plagues were going on, it was affecting Egypt. It did not affect the Israelites. They were separated away in Goshen. And I really believe that God covers us and protects us when we serve him and we acknowledge him. And so people need to understand what's really happening here because the setup for the wealth transfer is in full view. And I've been saying this for close to a decade that when the wealth transfer was happening, it was going to look really, really bad. It was not going to be some utopic type uh, transition. It was going to look bad. Why? Because in order to have a serious wealth transfer, you have to have some people who are living in fear. The majority of people are going to be very panicked. They're going to think, you know, the world is ending, the banks are collapsing, uh, and there's just fear and panic everywhere. And when you're in fear and panic, you're not made, making logical choices. So a lot of people will end up selling, you know, houses and uh, commodities and different things of value to people at a discount because they feel this pressure to sell because they feel like everything is ending. And I'm hoping that people see this is actually the perfect setup for the wealth transfer. So in saying that, it's like, where is your focus going? Because on any given day, we only have so much focus. And we choose where to put that portion of focus. And so many people are so focused on just surviving. They're in survival mode and they're not putting any energy towards getting ready uh, to be rich. There's lots of people, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire and a billionaire. Okay, but you lack the mental and emotional makeup that would make up somebody that has that kind of money because there's a process that you need to go through. That's why the Bible says that the hand of the diligent shall be made rich. Why? Because people that are going through that process are diligent to continue growing. They're intentional in it, and they're putting a portion of their energy every day towards that. And there's a really key concept that I've taken from the rich span in Babylon, and it's beyond saving the 10%, which has been really helpful and that's not financial or investment advice. It's just something I found helpful in the book. But there's also this idea about meeting weekly. You see that our CAD in the book was meeting with a group uh, from his city. And they would meet every week to talk about being rich. And I think this is really valuable. And people have lost sight of this. So for people that know that they need to focus. And people that know uh, they need to be more intentional in getting their mind right to be ready right? Because we can't put new wine into an old wineskin. You have to become a different person if you're going to become rich because your $65,000 wineskin is not going to contain the $220 million portion that God wants to pour out to you. So you have to change. How do you do that? You do it day by day and you're doing it intentionally. You're changing the way you think. You're changing the words that are coming out of your mouth. You're changing your actions and you're becoming a different person. One thing that's been very helpful for me in that is uh, I started this group and this group meets most Thursday nights on Zoom and we talk about all kinds of things pertaining to the wealth transfer and 
These calls go anywhere from like an hour to three hours. And it's just incredible seeing the revelation that's produced out of these calls. And they keep getting better and better every week. So we've also included uh, group coaching and one-on-one coaching. And there's lots of stuff there for the people that need it. But if you're not spending any time around people who are intentionally growing, who are you spending time with? Because you will become most like the five people that you spend the most time with. Who are those people? And do you want to be like them? I love doing the Thursday calls. I love doing the group coaching. I love doing this stuff because it's very edifying for my soul. I get to grow as I do this and other people get to grow and there's transformations that are happening. People are growing and increasing and their souls are getting better. Their souls are prospering because they're being intentional to put work in to get better. So for people that resonate with this and you know you need to be part of this, uh, go check out the link in my bio, uh, the link in the description. And it'll either be Patreon or a website, depending on when you're watching this. Sign up today. Like, don't wait. Get on these calls. And you'll understand why people rave about these calls. And they can't wait about to watch them every week and to be part of it. You get to be part of the live calls on Thursdays if you so choose. But you also get recordings of past calls. And I'm starting another round of group coaching. And that's been life-changing too. I have two spots left for that. So for people that know they need to take action, take action today. Do something to change your life. Join my group and start moving towards the process you need to be in to become a millionaire or a billionaire.